today in physics in second lesson optics you going to see about the image form due to refraction through the convex and concave lens before going to in detail about it you must know some of the technical points that is technical terms optic center this is the center point of the lens whether it is a concave and convex you have a center point that point is called optical center but in your book they had given it as o so please change it to o so it is o so o means optical center of the lens and the line passing through the center of the lens it is called principal axis and principal focus in the principal axis line you are keeping an object and you are focusing on it so that is called principal focus and the distance between the lens and the or that is this focus is called focal length okay focal length and the curvature center of curvatures so the each lens that is this is convex and this is concave so you can see a diagram like this means it is convex and if we draw a diagram like this means it is concave and both the sides of the lenses have the curvatures so that center point of the circle that is it forms a circle and the center point of the curvature is called c so what and all you have to remember o optic center o or c optic center okay o is optic center and next one is principal axis and f is principal focus and c is curve center of the curvature so these are the four things you have to remember now we will see the uh, topic in detail images form due to refraction through a convex and concave lens so an object is placed in front of the lens the light rays from the object falls on the lens so the position size nature of the image formed can be understood only if we know certain basic rules so with, without it we can't know it so where we are keeping the object and how the image formation so there are some of the rules so be, because of the rules only we know the nature size position of the image formation so that we will see in detail the first rule first rule this is the ob, you are keeping the object and the light is passing through the optic center through the optic this is the optic center through the optic center you are passing the light after refraction of the lens also there is no deviation and this arrow mark resembles the direction of the light passes so it passes like this and this line is oblique line but obliquely the light ray is passing through it and what that is this side what it is straight line the same way here also there is no deviation after refraction also no deviation this is seen in convex and in concave when the light is passes through the optic center after refraction also there is no deviation same as the same rules are applicable for both convex and concave lens the second rule so this is the principal axis of the lens and a light ray is passing parallel to the principal axis after refraction the light ray that is the light ray is converged at a point so it converges that is converging lens this is a convex lens is a converging lens so it converges at a point okay it converges at a point so that is concave that is next is the concave lens so now in concave also you are travel that is you are passing a light ray and after refraction of concave lens you can see a diverging from the uh, diverging of the ray takes place so this is the divergent so in convex it is coming close to the principal focus line of the other side of the lens but in concave what happen it is far away from the principal focus so this line is far away that is it is start scattering 
So it is diverging. That is, it is far away from the principal focus. And the third rule, if the light ray, that is, if the light ray passes at the principal focus, after refracting through the convex lens, the ray is parallel to the principal focus. Okay. It is vice versa to the second rule. Okay. So, in second ray, the ray is parallel to the principal focus. After it, after refraction, it is converging at a point. Okay. Same way, here, a ray is passing in the principal focus. So, here it is the principal focus. After that, after refraction, it, the ray is parallel to the principal focus. And in concave, what happens means, the ray is passing through the convex lens. This is the ray is passing through the convex lens. After refraction, it has to meet at the principal focus. But what happens means it is parallel to the principal. It passes parallel to the principal axis. So you can see the principal axis. So it is parallel to the principal axis. Now the refraction through the convex lens. How the image formation takes place when the object is placed in the but in different positions. So the first one is object at infinity. So you are placing the object at infinity, far away place, and the light falls on it and it travels through the image, that is through the convex lens, through which the image is formed. After refraction of the convex lens, you can get the image at a particular point. And that image is very small. So you have can see a small image here in the focus point of other side of the lens. Okay. Next. Object placed beyond C. That is, that is C. That is C is 2F is the C center of the curvature. So you are placing before the C a object. And here we are using the basic rule 1 and 2. The first rule is the light ray is passed through the optic center. There is no deviation. And another rule, the second rule is the light ray is passing parallel to the principal focus axis. So after refraction, that is after passing through the lens, the image is formed. Inverted image, you can see an inverted image. And the image is formed in between, that is, in between, the image is formed between the curvature. This is called the curvature. 2F is the curvature and F is the focus. So, between these two, you are getting an image. How the image is? Very small. You can see the object size and image size. Object size is some larger, but here the image size is smaller than smaller. So, the object is larger. That is, the image is smaller than the object. Okay. Object placed at the C. So, when an object is placed at the, the exactly at the 2F, 2F is the C. So, here you are keeping the object. The same two rules, that is, basic rule 1 is, it passes through the optic center. Basic 2, the 2 rule is, it is parallel to the principal axis. Okay, principal axis. After refraction, the image is formed at the other side of the curvature C. So, and it is inverted. So, the, and it is inverted image, but the size of object and the image are same. Object placed between F and C. So, now that is F, this is focus point. And C is this, this, that is center of curvature. So, between this, you are keeping the object, that is, the object is placed between F and C. So, the two rules are followed. The basic one, the first rule is, the ray is passing through the optic center. Another rule is, the, that is, it is parallel to the principal focal axis. So, after refraction, you are getting an image, inverted image that is larger in size that is it is larger than the object and where you are getting beyond the 
curvature center of curvature so beyond that is behind means at, uh, after that is um, after the center of curvature this is center of curvature after that you are getting the image and the image size is larger than the object size so object placed at the principal focus f so when an object is placed at principal focus exactly at the principal focus the same two rules that is basic rule 1 and basic 2 is from that is one ray is passing in the optic center and another one is parallel to the principal axis what happens the image is formed far away that is the image is formed at infinity we can't able to identify that is identify the where the image will be formed but it is formed far away place that is infinity and how the image size larger in size okay larger in size that is object compared to the object the image size is larger the object plays between the principal focus f and op optic center o so here you are keeping the object at f okay that is between the f and the o so here it is the f and here it is the o so between this you are keeping the object so what happened the two rules basic one and two rule is used after refraction the image is large okay that is the image is larger where it forms it won't forms this side the image won't form this side because it is a virtual image so the image is formed this side that is behind the object okay so that is this this formula is used in simple microscope and compound microscope we will see in the detail so this is a simple comp microscope and this one is a compound microscope and this is and here you are keeping the object okay and through this lens you are through this you are getting the light rays so the light rays falls on this by falling it you are viewing the smaller object through larger object that is you are getting a virtual image here okay so this procedure that is the before rule the rule 3 is for that is this rule that is this one the object placed between the principal focus and the optic center rule is followed in simple and compound microscope okay now we are going to see the applications of convex lens so convex lens is used in camera lenses so camera lens so you have all you are having an all you are having an camera lens okay that is camera phone smartphone through that lenses that is through that lenses we are zooming it we are taking pictures etc and it is also used as a magnifying lens and as i said it is used for making microscope telescope and slide projectors also and the defect of the vision hypermetrophia is nothing but long sight sightness for this they are using the convex lens thank you for watching the video if you like give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel